look of a team out to defend its home court. All right, everyone. Greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. Tonight, we've got the Los Angeles Lakers playing against the Charlotte Hornets. This is Brian Anderson with Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. Allie LaForce with us on the sidelines. And now let's take a look at the starting lineup for the Charlotte Hornets. Hayward and Bridges at the small and power forward spot. Terry Rozier is out there with Miller. And it's Williams in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Lakers, it's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. Cam Reddish is out there with D'Angelo Russell. And it's Prince in at small forward. Ooh, the rumor mill is in full effect when it go. comes to coaches on the hot seat, Clark. These days, do you think we're seeing too many coaching changes? Yes. There's a level of impatience when it comes to changing coaches. Coaches don't seem to get the time they used to, and I don't think that's a good thing. Hayward banked it in off the glass. In describing Hayward as a scorer, I think a good word is determined. I mean, he'll take contact if he has to, and whatever it takes to get his points, he's willing to do. And Reddish gets it to go. As pretty much any coach, that's how he'd like to start the game. Rogier, the pass to Bridges. Back to Rozier. Here's Miller. Shot clock at six. And Davis right now, right with the block. Oh, wow, guys, this does not look good. We've got an injury here. Yeah, that type of injury is always worrisome. Hopefully, he's okay. You're exactly right. I mean, with the way it looks, what we have to hope for now is that somehow it's not a long-term issue. McGowan's, he's checked in for Charlotte. Clock is at three. Puts up a deep three. Charlotte again missing. Here are the Lakers with the ball. You know, last game they matched up with the Mavs. A tough loss there. It was almost like they looked stunned when the game slipped through their fingers. Being on the wrong end of an upset leads to a quiet ride home. And to lose it like they did too. Wow, right at the end, man, makes it even tougher to take. Well, Clark, we often note the offensive impact of Davis. But he also gets it done on the other end of the floor. He is the best defender in the league in my mind when you look at all the aspects of playing defense. He's a multiple block shot champ. His anticipation and timing at the Take defensive end. Take a break. Uh, top shot. Two shots. The first one falls. Well, the Lakers moved from Inglewood to this downtown arena back in 99. This place has been special, Clark. Some all-time moments here, B.A. Kobe's 81-point game comes to mind. LeBron setting the all-time NBA scoring record. All those classic Shaq-Kobe playoff games. A few titles sprinkled in there as well. Special indeed. At his best, Davis is an MVP caliber player. One of the true franchise guys in the league. An all-star back in 2017, Gordon Hayward remains a quality player, Clark. Yeah, you know, because of his versatility, I think it allows him to still be a high-level player, even now that he's not as ball-dominant as he was in Utah. He still contributes and does so effectively.
And he makes a first. Taking a look at the Charlotte Hornets, Clark, a team that has struggled to find their identity. And, you know, because of this, they've been very inconsistent up and down. We've seen them beat some good teams, B.A., but we've also seen them go on some bad losing streaks. Both free throws good from Hayward. Clark, when it comes to Charlotte, their roster skewed to the young side for a few seasons now. And that lack of experience is part of the reason they've struggled for a while now, B.A. Young teams inevitably must go through growing pain. Charlotte's had a tough time finding stability. Hey, that kind of contact is not going to get it done against Davis. He's much too strong for that. Pass to Hayward. Puts up a three. Drills it from deep. Hayward's got seven points. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Now here's Russell, a valuable part of their offense, averaging a little more than 16 a game. That's going up against a defense that knows your tendencies. Here's Rozier. Using his post moves to get the two points. One of the things coaches like is aggressive players, and Rozier is that in spades. Russell against Rozier. The three from Prince. The Hornets pull it in. And their first look at this year's Lakers squad. Hayward against Prince. Rozier outside. Pass to McGowans. Fires the three. And again, Charlotte with the triple. Boy, about as easy an assist as you could have that time for Rozier. Davis, the pass to Reddish. And he's going for the oop here. And Davis slams it home. There's no stopping that. AD is too long and strong to bother that alley-oop. Charlotte calls timeout. They're coming off a loss against Miami. Yeah, they made a lot of plays, and they were in it until the end. Just couldn't do enough to get the win. Yeah, you know, they didn't have their best stuff, but they were still getting after it, so you got to really appreciate the effort and hustle. And the Lakers with some changes. Vanderbilt's checked in for James. Hachimura comes in for Prince. And Reeves is subbed in for Russell. A big group substitution here for Charlotte. Richards is checked in for Williams. Washington comes in for Bridges. Smith, he's checked in for Hayward. And it's Smith in for Rozier. Now here's Smith. Pass to Smith. It's tipped. Smith against Reddish. A minute 31 left in the first. Reeves the pass to Davis. And the foul on the shot. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And there's the call. Charlotte with the foul. You look at AD and you know he's taken his share of contact over the course of his career. And quite honestly, that just comes with the territory when you're a dominant offensive player like him. Shooting two. That free throw misses. Well, as we've seen throughout the history of the Lakers, Clark, 
it's a big free agent and trade destination. Well, I think part of it is the weather attraction. I mean, guys love playing where the weather is always nice, not to mention to be with a team whose goal is to win championships. That one's no good. Well, Grand Hornets head coach Steve Clifford said that the team needs to start winning if they want to keep LaMelo Ball. And he's not wrong, B.A. I mean, they view Ball as the cornerstone of the franchise, but they have to give him a reason to stay. He is indeed a special talent, and winning is his ultimate priority. Stolen by Davis. One minute left to play in the first. Vanderbilt, the pass to Reddish. Now here's Davis. Uses the glass that time. It's good. Davis has got eight points. When he's at his best, Davis is in attack mode, getting to that rim and playing with power down low. McGowan's a pass to Washington. Here's McGowan's, guarded by Vanderbilt. He shoots. And that one's good. McGowan's. Five points in the game. For Los Angeles, they've gone four of six in the first quarter. Throws it up high. And Davis slams it home. Everyone loves the alley-oop play, B.A. Yep, one of the prettiest in basketball. Unless you're the team getting punched on. That would be the difference. Here's Smith. And no good to start tonight. Missing his first attempt there. The shot won't fall. One quarter in the books. And it's been a close one. It's the Hornets up by two. And quarter number two will get underway just after this short break. This has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. Taking a look at the Hornets' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. And you know what? That's what happens when you establish your three-point game early. Puts the defense right up against it. Well, Clark, we're over a decade now with the restricted area on NBA courts. How much would that have changed things during your day? I think quite a bit because the game was played closer to the bucket. I mean, there was more post-up action, more attacking of the rim from close in. So I do think it would have had an impact on how the game was played and officiated had that restricted arc area been in existence. And perhaps it might have led earlier to teams looking to space the floor a little more to create more driving lanes without a lot of help defense. On the floor for Charlotte, Hayward and Bridges at the small and power forward spots. Smith out there with Terry Rozier, and it's Williams in at the five. A moment here for an injury report. Thanks, guys. I got a status report from Charlotte's head athletic trainer. Unfortunately, he didn't have good news. It looks like a broken wrist, and this team really needs him. They aren't the deepest squad in the NBA, so we'll see how they move forward, Brian. Okay, thanks for the update. Good to get that information. Now we know how things are coming along, Grant. That's true. It's the uncertainty factor with injuries that can be so hard to handle. And you know, for him, just watching his teammates unable to contribute, that's really a helpless feeling. Here's Smith. It's Bridges on the wing. Checked by James. Here's Hayward. The Lakers trail. Russell with the ball. No made baskets yet. 
Pass to Wood. Fires the three. That shot's good. Russell making the play. Wood's range makes him really dangerous. He's effective as a floor spacer. Clark, you look at Christian Wood. When he's in the right situation, he's productive. Very much so. You give him minutes and he'll put up numbers. It's that simple. Takes pride in his glass eating and can score from different levels. Now here's Williams. Some solid D from Wood. All right, let's get a report from Allie. For the Lakers to be successful, Coach Darvin Ham said, quote, Anthony Davis is the key. None of this works if he's not available and hitting on all cylinders. We've all seen what can happen when he's healthy and playing at a high level. It's just a matter of managing his body. Brian? That's a good point. That's true for everybody, too. Thanks, Allie. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. And sometimes that's the best policy when you're going up against a big guy. Take it to the 10. Right at him. Get to the rack. Now, here is James. He had a 33-point outing in their last game against Dallas. And he was relentless in that one. I mean, he wanted to be the first to every rebound and almost was. Bridges down low, guarded by Wood, and the basket timeout, by timeout. Bridges. Good job from the interior. Bridges just taking his time and letting these shots come naturally within the flow of the offense. No rush at all. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. You know, since the Lakers moved to L.A. in 1960, they've had the most sustained success in the NBA. Well, think about this, B.A. From Wes to Magic to Kobe to LeBron, they always have a superstar. And NBA players love living in L.A. And the city loves basketball. And the Lakers will go for a different look here. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Christian Wood. Vanderbilt comes in for James. Hachimura's checked in for Prince. And Reeves is subbed in for Reddish. Now here's Hachimura. Yet to see a basket. Pass to Reeves. Davis down low. Richards is there. The Lakers with another miss. Both sides going at it. Classic good offense, first good defense. Here's Rozier. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. And now it's a five-point Charlotte lead. To the middle. Here's Davis. And finished off by Davis. His ability to dominate games is what makes Anthony Davis a top-tier player. Pass to McGowan's. Oh, and they immediately answer back with a dunk on the other end. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Hey, they've got a nice, comfortable lead here, fellas. Might as well keep it simple. Do it a plain, simple one-hander, just like pound cake. The pull-up. Hayward's shot is off. And here's Davis. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Trailing by five. Here's Russell. That one goes. Now he's one for two. So much confidence for a young player. Terrific move by Russell in traffic. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Here's McGowan's. He's got it. Four for four now. He's automatic. Slick crossover move. The defense had no way of keeping up. And they can run out the clock here. No need to rush it. Yeah, don't give them another possession here. And Rozier pulls it down. Well, you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. The three. He drops it from range. Rozier's got five points now in the quarter. <laughs> Are you serious? I mean, he made the defender look silly right there. Just an epic move. And so it's Charlotte up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. What has them in front right now, by and large, they're taking great shots. 
Back to the game after this break. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. The first quarter for the Hornets was fairly even. They led by two after the first. After a solid second quarter, they've built their lead to eight at halftime. Shaq, your thoughts on the Hornets? They're running some great offense right now, working the ball in good spots, taking what the defense gives them, not forcing up shots. We'll see if they can maintain that discipline in the second half. And Kenny, let's get your thoughts on the Lakers. Well, the best way that they can get back into this game is to show up their rebound. They need to prevent second chance points and fight. I mean, fight to get their own. If they could do that, this game's still within it. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. Just go over there. Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. A fantastic game from Anthony Davis in this one. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for them. And then, of course, executing. You know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. And we've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books. Los Angeles shooting a solid 47%. And you watch Charlotte. Boy, they play with pace, Grant. Oh, B.A., they tend to get a lot of shots up. Heavy volume team. But when those shots are falling, they can compete against anyone. It's LeBron at power forward with A.D. as the center. D'Angelo Russell is out there with Cam Reddish. And it's Prince in at the three. So that's who Darvin Ham starts the second half with. So it's the Hornets now. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. Got a piece of it. James, left side. And it's good for two. James has got his second basket. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. And it's Smith penetrating. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Smith, the former Demon Deacon. He's a savvy veteran who's passing and shooting really can frustrate opponents. Outside Reddish. James passes to Davis. Russell with the ball. Hounded by Rozier. Clock at six. Here's Davis. That shot's good. Russell making the play. Russell's got three assists now in this one. Reddish against Smith. And Davis with the block. That infinite wingspan of Davis is on full display there. And out of bounds. Charlotte will have it. And they're in the top ten for field goal percentage. They pick their shots well and do a good job not forcing things on that end. And you talked about how stout this club is. They take pride in how they play on the defensive end. Great communicators. Now a timeout called by Charlotte.
Now let's check out the Western Conference standings and see how they look here in December. You look at the Lakers. Right now, fifth in the division, right in the middle. When I look at the Lakers, they're not in any danger of a slow start in position right now to challenge for a top seed this season. They've eliminated that possibility in my eyes. I mean, they've come together quickly, and I think they're going to be right in the playoff mix all season. Hayward's shot is off. Just one for four from the field, not the way they wanted to start the second half. Davis down low. Williams defending. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line, a chance at a three-point play. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. We're just about two minutes into the final half of play now. Bridges outside. Knocks it loose. Fast break. Here come the Lakers. Here's James. Freak train coming. LeBron gets to the rim. Boy, there's nothing quite like LeBron on the fast break. That combination of size, strength, and speed makes him electric. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And a moment to check out who the Los Angeles Lakers have coming up. On Wednesday, they'll begin a road trip starting in San Antonio, going up against the Spurs. Some might look at this schedule and already mark off how many wins they'll get, but I think that's a mistake. You can never take a night off in the NBA. Even the ones you think will be easy are tough. Shoot two. And the first one at the line is good. And, you know, there's no question about it. Hayward is an exciting player and an athletic forward who can really, really score. Woods checked in for Los Angeles. Reeves comes in for Russell. Washington's checked in for Charlotte. McGowan's comes in for Smith. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. Even with the miss, he got the big one there to put him in front. And Clark, what's most amazing about LeBron James, how remarkable he is playing at his age. B.A., there's a lot of things that are really incredible about LeBron, but that's one of the most incredible, his high level of play at his advanced age. And he's still playing with great athleticism. A credit to the work he's put in and his giftedness. Here's McGowan's. He's got nine. Rozier outside. Pass to Bridges. There's the triple. The shot, no good. The Lakers have gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. Here's Reeves, pounded by Rozier for the lead. Reeves, the pass to James. Here's Reeves, reddish on the wing, six on the shot clock. Pulls it. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. The defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with it. On the wing, Rozier. We've got 113 left to play in the third quarter here. Here's Bridges. Rebound, the Lakers. Well, you know he wants that one back. I mean, more often than not, he'll sink that mid-range jumper. Davis. And then Davis punches it home. Davis puts it down with a 40. And his team is just going wild about it. Man, that was impressive. Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam cam. Now here's Bridges. Really helps his team on offense. Recording 20 points a game. Out to Hayward. No luck on that one. Some solid D from Wood. To the inside. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. 
Well, what a great effort that time by Davis. Just never gave up on it. Worked through tough defense and still found a way to get it up and down. And the Lakers with some changes. Vanderbilt's checked in for Wood. And Achimura has subbed in for James. And a change for the Hornets. Richards has checked in. That free throw, good from Davis. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Hayward against Reddish. Hayward's shot is off. And so Davis will bring it up for Los Angeles. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. And here's Rozier. From downtown, no good. Misses at the buzzer. And so it's Anthony Davis making things happen for Los Angeles. He made a big impact, scoring 12 points in the quarter. And don't go far. We'll be right back. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. On the floor for Charlotte, Terry Rozier is out there with Gordon Hayward. Then there's Nick Richards. Then it's Miles Bridges. And it's Williams in at the center position. Rozier can't get it to go. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Here's Bridges. Following the score by the Lakers. Got it. Can't ask for a better look with the game in the balance. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Here's Reeves. The Hornets pull it in. Williams has got rebound number eight here already in the game. Rozier from outside. Prince grabs the miss. The Lakers in the lead. Hachimura outside. Pass to Reeves. Now Russell. Here's Reeves. Let's it fly. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Hayward. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Over the years, we've seen Hayward get stronger. He's packed on some muscle, and it helps him on these physical finishes. Pass to Prince. No good. Oh, Hayward with some nice D. And here's Richards. Rozier outside. No! They're unable to get the tying basket there. Here's Prince. The Hornets pull it in. Trying to close out. You got to know who's hot and who's not. Bridges passes to Rozier. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Oh, can't tie it up as that one misses. Vanderbilt with the block. And it's the Lakers on the break. Got a hand on it. Hachimura against Hayward. Rozier outside. Over Russell. Charlotte again missing. This has not been his best quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, I'm moving I'm too I'm fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. They're behind by four. 
152 left to play in the fourth. Time now to present our new balance player of the game, Anthony Davis. You know, honestly, I'm a bit in shock. I mean, he couldn't miss. Just look at this stat line. You've got to really see it to believe it. Complete confidence and all-out effort from him. And, you know, he made sure this was his night in spades. And the Hornets making a change here. Washington's checked in. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Hey guys, well here's a summary of what Steve Clifford went over with his team during the break. And Coach had a simple message for their team saying, hey, we're right there. Let's start with a stop. Knock down a couple shots and we'll be up. Sometimes the best instructions are the basic ones. B.A.? Okay, thank you, Allie. Great feed from Davis, a big guy with nice vision. And it's Rozier with the ball for Charlotte. So far in the fourth, they've allowed just six points. Looking to end this cold spell. Count it. Good. The bigger the moment, the more Terry Rozier wants it. This is where Scary Terry comes alive. Now, here is James. LeBron gets the bucket inside. So reliable around the rim, guys. And that bucket right there gives them a solid cushion here in the late going. Three-pointer Rozier. Here's Williams. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Pass to Reddish. And here's Davis. He's guarded by Bridges. And there's the basket. And the whistle blows. Chance at a three-point play here. Going to the line for one. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Los Angeles. Their defense has been on point all game long. They're out hustling the shooters and swatting down plenty of shots. They've been the disruptors defensively coming up with a lot of steals that have had an impact on the flow of the game. That free throw, good from Davis. And here are the Hornets now. Nine-point game. Rozier, the pass to Williams. And it's blocked by Davis. Reddish against Bridges. And there's the lob. And Davis slams it home. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback? Diminished. Now here's Rozier. Washington up top. Checked by James. Reporter Bridges. Prince grabs the miss. And it's the Lakers ball. Big run right now for him. 11-2. Russell deciding where to go with it. And so it's the Lakers easily grabbing this one. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor, and they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. All right, let's send it down to Allie LaForce, who's with our player of the game. You'll join us again Anthony, the chemistry between you and LeBron, how much of that is your skill set versus your connection as teammates? Oh. Um, we both respect each other. We know what we both can do on the floor on both ends. And when we get out and run and we run into our pick and roll, 
Um, it's hard to guard. You know, he's able to shoot the ball. If they go under, um, he's a monster attacking the basket. You know, I'm rolling or popping. It kind of mix up the defense scheme. And anytime we're able to, to get into that action, it's unguardable. It's unguardable, a combo anyone would love to have. Thanks, AD. Allie, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Allie LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching the NBA, brought to you by 2K Sports. So long, everybody.